or uh, policemen uh, who would be able to kill a drug suspect. Uh, basically, 10,000 for an ordinary user. And uh, for some officials like uh, barangay captain or mayor, it's up to 50,000 pesos. All the details about so-called drug war, including how the police were able to fake. So he gave to us some details about how the police were able to stage uh, the uh, by bust operation and the encounters. And most of them were uh, not encounters but execution. Uh, remove the uh, CCTV cameras or point away the cameras or put them off so that their activities will not be recorded. And uh, in some instances when the drug suspects were still alive, they were brought to the hospital. But along the way, uh, these drug victims were shot at close range to, make, to kill them. And this was uh, confirmed by doctors we had interviewed that most of the victims were shot at close range because of the tattooing in their bodies and in their head. Some of the uh, evidence were also planted according to the police officers. Uh. Are we allowed to ano na already to uh, interpolate the uh, resource uh, speakers? Or well, actually, we... let's, let's, let's hear the others. It's just, just more. It's just a clarification on the other things, no? Okay, but can uh, we... let's learn the others. Yeah, can we just listen first and yes. then we ask later? I'd okay. like to uh, now recognize Mr. Mugato, who is from uh, Reuters, no? Formerly, sir. Formerly, Your Honor. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Mr. Mugato. Okay. Uh, I submitted already the copies of the Reuters report to the Honorable Committee. Uh, one of the report was done uh, on December, December 2017. That was the last uh, special report done by Reuters. Mr. Mugato, uh, you revealed something in the first hearing, no? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'd like you to I'd like you to repeat that for the record. Uh, Your Honor, uh, based on our interview with the former intelligence officer, uh, a retired general. Uh, Can Rudol you give the Rudol name, please? Rodolfo Mendoza. Uh, he said that he made a written report on the war on drugs and he listed down uh, based on the Opland double barrel as well as the supposed rewards list for uh, policemen uh, who would be able to kill a drug suspect. Uh, basically 10,000 for an ordinary user. And uh, for some officials like uh, barangay captain or mayor, it's up to 50,000 pesos. That was based on his report. And we cannot confirm uh, his report because that was what he said. And he said that this report was based on his interview with 17 active duty police officers and so our editors uh, at that time did they give the name of the 17 police officers no no your honor he did not give the names but because we still doubted whether the report is authentic we asked him if he could give us his sources uh, on his report and he agreed after so many negotiations and he brought to us one police captain uh, uh, I cannot 
give his name because we promised not to reveal his identity. But I can tell you that this police captain is a present commander, a PCP commander in Manila Police District. And he talked to us in a restaurant in Green Hills, all the details about the so-called drug war, including how the police were able to fake. You know what the station in the Philippine National Police? Station 1. Station po, alam niyo kung ano station? Station 1, your Police Honor. station? Uh, in Tondo. So, he gave to us some details about how the police were able to stage uh, the uh, by-bust operation and the encounters. And most of them were uh, not encounters but execution. Oh. And uh, there were also instances when he said that they were able to uh, uh, remove the uh, CCTV cameras or point away the cameras or put them off so that their activities will not be recorded. And uh, in some instances when the drug suspects were still alive, they were brought to the hospital. But along the way, uh, these drug victims were shot at close range to, make, to kill them. And this was uh, confirmed by doctors we had interviewed that most of the victims were shot at close range because of the tattooing in their bodies and in their head. So, and uh, some of the uh, evidence were also planted according to the police officers. And uh, at one, one point, he showed us a text message coming from a senior intelligence officer from the NCRPO that uh, requested them to remove their police patrol car in a certain area because their riding in tandem will uh, pass by that area and they don't want any encounter to happen. Ang hirap nun, Mr. Mugato, what you're trying to tell us right now, if you will not give us the names of the individuals, that would be hearsay. And uh, uh, we can put it on record, pero wala magiging patayan dito because uh, you are speaking, you know, uh, without any proof at all, actually. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but uh, we made a promise to this police officer not to reveal his identity. And as a journalist, we have the right to protect our own sources. Okay. And uh, anyway, all, all of these were written in a report that is available in the internet. Mr. Chair, may I, may I lang? Uh, isa lang, Kapra, isa lang ang tanong kay ano, Mr. Mogato. We, we know your responsibility as a journalist as well. But do you... You also have this um, kind of uh, responsibility on the victims. No? Uh, hindi ba tayo naawa sa mga biktima natin? Uh, by revealing your source, you will be able to solve a lot of problems. And uh, I think it is uh, well incumbent upon the uh, journalist uh, that there's this kind of, um, what do you call this? Um, uh, a um, selfless uh, act on behalf of the, uh, of the victims as well. So, uh, 17 personalities yung uh, sinasabi mo dito eh. Mga colonels, captains, major. Uh, sana man lang, kahit isa man lang na maibigay mo sa, sa committee na to, I think uh, that will solve a lot of problems. And yung paghihirap ng mga biktimang ito na nakikita natin, na naglakas ng loob, na pumunta rito para ipakita sa, sa, sa committee that they are uh, so brave, no? Uh, in spite of the... Uh, so many elements of uh, of uh, people who are uh, really uh, trying to uh, prevent them from coming eh sana meron tayong ganitong klase ng uh, nararamdaman sa kanila so Mr. Mogato again kasi naka, nung nakarang hearing tinanong na kita eh di ba sinabi mo ka, hindi kasi kami maniniwala sa iyo eh hindi ano na namin talaga paniniwalaan yung sinasabi mo it, it will be a uh, a, uh, a uh, hearsay you no know? 
Pero once na nag-reveal mo sa sinasabi mo, labib itong ito, kahit isa lang, then, we will salute you. Ahanga kami sa'yo. Pero hanggang hindi mo sinasabi yan, eh hindi, hindi mo kami mabobola dito. No? Hindi ka namin paniniwalaan. So, please, please, try to give mercy to these uh, victims of that, uh, of that, ano, of that, uh, uh, war on drugs. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but uh, I cannot really reveal the names of our sources. But, I'm telling you, so uh, I'm, I'm uh, telling this committee that hmm. hindi po ako ng babola at uh, base lang po ito sa report na ginawa ng Reuters. So, it's up to you to believe it or not, but we have done our... Anyway, uh, are, you, are you willing to uh, to have a um, an executive session para at least uh, kahit pa paano ay uh, na natin yung yung uh, reputasyon bilang isang journalist to tell us, no? Oh, sama mo, oh, maliwanagan kami doon sa sitwasyon kasi mayroon ko pa rin sinasabi eh, that uh, uh, ang nangyayari, nagkakaroon ng bayaran, di ba? Na 10,000 pesos kapag yung mga robbery, mga swindler, yung mga petty crimes, 10,000 ang binabayad sa mga pulis. At pag mga mayors, mga malamang kasama congressman diyan or uh, mga gobernador or kaya mga barangay captain, it's more than 10,000. As a matter of fact, sinabi mo 50,000 50. ang halaga. Mabigat na ako sa sunyon eh, di ba? And that is according to what you have heard from the 17 personalities that you mentioned. Di ba? Uh, Your Honor, hindi po namin nakausap yung 17. Ang nakausap namin isa lang na kapitan na dinala nung retired general. Nung last, nung last hearing, sinabi mo yung 17 personalities. I have the record here. Opo. Uh, so, yan po ang source ni General 17. Yung 17. At ang nakausap mo, yung isa yung kapitan. Yung kapitan, opo. Sigurado ka? Kasi na, the last hearing na andito, sinabi mo, 17, 17, 17, 17 po yung kanyang source ni General. Ni General, ano? General uh, Mendoza. Uh, Mendoza. Opo. Siya nagsabi sa'yo na may 17 PNP uh, officers that, uh, that, uh, that was that was uh, trying to tell the general na merong ganong klase na bayaran. Opo. Yes, or, Your Honor. Pero ang nakausap po namin, isa lang, kasi yun lang po ang didala niya. Pero okay. yung, pero yung uh, kapitan buhay pa, di ba? Siguro, napromote na po. Uh, baka colonel na yun yun. Uh, seven years ago eh. Oo. Anyway, uh, naisiguro mo na yun eh nasa isang uh, police station sa Manila Tundo Before Before o, Anong year po yun? 2017 April Okay Sino si PNP during that time? Si Bato po Si General Bato General uh, si... De Rosa oh. Alright So uh, The next I'd like to recognize uh, Your Honor Just attorney, a matter of yeah, uh, Yes Sorry, uh, Your Honor Attorney Conte Meron kang gustong ano? Yes A matter of information Your Honor the document that Attorney Chel Yoknyo was referring to, I already uh, put in the presentation at the previous session, Your Honor. The number uh, that appears in the President's 2017 Key Accomplishments reflects 3,967 killed in police operations. This is uh, based on real numbers PH. Uh, this number ballooned to 6,252 uh, by May 31, 2022. Yung Ato, Attorney Conti, until such time yes, sir. that you're able to convince the others to come out <laughs> and, and charge in court on class suit, all of those things that you're saying now are just accusations. Uh, but, Your Honor, these numbers are from a document uh, released by the Presidential Communications Operations Office, which we were also able to uh, independently uh, obtain um, separately from uh, uh, Attorney Diokno. So this is yes, sort of but, public uh, document. Uh, 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 but who, who is accountable? I mean, you know, uh, sino to accountable dito? Na, na charge na ba? But or? first, on the point that these um, numbers are claimed as accomplishments of the President, then perhaps um, we can 
uh, established as that. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I got also that kind of report that uh, she got right now. And I uh, just uh, photo uh, copy it in from uh, the laptop of uh, Congresswoman uh, Prats. But, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, you know, uh, kasi I, I just wanted to question uh, Attorney Jokno. Kasi kanina may sinasabi si uh, Attorney Jokno na uh, 16,355. Diba? Correct ka doon na uh, uh, it was uh, 16,355. And sa year-end report ng uh, ng uh, ng uh, Malacanang during that time on 2017 it was indeed 16,355 homicide cases under investigation but no riding in tandem that was mentioned wala di ba but Chairman. it was homicide Chairman. can you can you, uh, before ano uh, before uh, can you kindly uh, reply on that uh, no? uh, attorney uh, John yeah, after you reply I'm going to recognize uh, Congressman Karabs uh, yes your honor the, there are two types of killings that during the war on drugs. One type were those who were killed, yung sinasabi po mga nanlaban, killed during police operations, anti-drug operations, by bust, tapos lumaban daw at napatay. The other kind, as we know from the so many reports that came out during that time, ay yung mga nahanap na bangkay na meron nakalagay na sign na drug addict ko, kaya yung mga napatay na riding in tandem. Yun po yung tinuturing na homicides under So in other words, uh, Attorney Jokno, yung sinasabi mong 6,355 that was mentioned in the uh, year-end report of the uh, former president ng 2017, lumalabas yung 16,335, categorized into two. 16,355. Na categorized into two. Uh, yes, Your Honor. That is correct. So, at Attorney Medjadia, uh, will you confirm this uh, report that uh, was... Uh, Uh, nasa, na, nakita ko rin sa internet that uh, 16,355 in accordance with the uh, report of the uh, of the uh, of the former president homicide cases under investigation July 1, 2016 to September 30, 2017 Is this correct? It could probably be correct It, it came from the yes. police No? Yes, uh, Attorney Medjadia Can we refer that to the PDEA because they were the ones who gave that figure? That figure. Okay, PDEA. Can we ask the PDEA, please? PDEA and NBI. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, we why don't, why don't we look on it later, Congressman Fernandez? I'd like to uh, recognize okay. first Congressman Karapsandes. 